who will find fame and who will fail. Watch and see on I Know My Kids a Star. Hey everybody, how you doing? Good. Uh, I believe we've got another guest I want to introduce you to. Where's Joel? Joel in the house. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming out. Nice to see you. Everybody, this is Joel Goldie. He's a dialect coach who has worked with everybody from Mike Myers, uh, Jennifer Garner, just all the big stars. When they need to do an accent, this is where you go. Joel is going to help you learn your monologues using a working class British accent known as Cockney. Joel, you ready? I'm ready. Up to you, man. The other boys made me do it. I knew it would be bad. Mr. Bumble was mightily disappointed. I do not want to say anything more about her. I am ready to work, sir. Well, how are you guys? Wow. Thank you very much. Wow. Everybody gets to use one of these cheat sheets that I've made up, and this has some approximations of what the words will sound like in a broad Cockney accent. OK, guys, as a reminder, the kid with the best audition is, of course, immune from the next elimination. OK, everybody, come on. Time's money. You're going to get that on show business. You feel ready for all this? This one seems like a lot of work. I just take a second and action. Some of my old nurses told me mother died of a broken arm. I think I know what it means to die of that. I am ready to work, sir. Shoot. Time to vote. If you want to just tap on the picture of who you believe won. Wow, very dramatic and unanimous. <laughs> All right, we've got a clear winner. Please don't believe the hype. Everything in the world ain't black and white. It's called the valve chart. And it's a very handy tool for this kind of work because it's actually a map of where your tongue moves in your mouth to make the various bell sets that you use. Today we're going to meet with a dialect coach who's going to coach us on how to speak with more of a black dialect. And the Sparks are going to meet with a dialect coach to learn how to speak with more of a white dialect. I'll have to I, I, type, type, my, my, try, try, like, like. There like. is black talk or white talk. I mean, there is a difference. Yeah, yeah, cha, cha. The minute we need to do something of importance, or go on an interview, the first thing that we do is say, let me put on my white voice. And, and that's because we live in a white society. Don't. Don't. No. No. <laughs> everybody. Everybody. So not everybody. Everybody. Oh, yeah, right. Everybody. Everybody. It sounds like I'm saying everybody. Yeah, that's so okay. everybody. You are. Oh, yeah. Everybody. Black people, we tend to cut off words, cut our words short. You know, white people, they ain't say the whole word. Life. Life. Good. Pine. Pine. Then. Then. Put the N on it. Then. Then. That's perfect. <laughs> We're talking to the Wargles and the Sparks. While the two families live together, things got intense, especially between Carmen and Renette. <laughs> Take a look at this. Renee and I were working with a dialect coach. I was learning to talk black, and Renee was learning to talk white. Well, hello, dear. How are you doing today? <laughs> it was just like a friendly conversation. Just as she was talking black, and I was talking white. Yo, bitch. Yo, bitch. Out of the blue in our conversation, she goes, hey, you bitch. I heard that word and it was like, whoa, where'd that come from? She kind of laughed it off, but I wasn't laughing.